Hi, I'm Daniel Wong, and today we're going to learn how to quad sleeve a Magic the Gathering deck. The first and most difficult step is going to be finding four layers of sleeves that fit inside one another. These are the sleeves that I use, but the fourth layer, Strong Hards, are very difficult to find now, so you may need to find other sleeves. The first layer, closest to the cards, are Perfect Fits. I prefer KMC Perfect Hards because these add a little bit of extra thickness to the final product. Note also that these come in packs of 50, which means that in order to sleeve your 75 card Magic the Gathering deck, you'll need two packs of these. Next, you can use any ordinary sleeves. I'm a big fan of Dragon Shields, but you can really go crazy, use whatever you want. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, the next layer is KMC Character Guards. These are designed to go over regular sleeves. Also note that these, comes in pack, these come in packs of 60, so you'll again need two packs of these. Uh, note also that this has a gold trim on it. There are other uh, character guards that come with silver trim. And finally, for the last layer, we have KMC Strong Hearts. These are designed to go over the character guards. And note that these come in packs of 50, so you'll again need two of these. All right, now that we have our sleeves, the next step is to simply sleeve the card. I like to alternate directions when I'm sleeving. Uh, that way this minimizes the chances of any water damage happening if any drinks are spilled on the table while playing. Also note that it's important to press the air out of the sleeves uh, in between each layer. That will minimize the amount of puffiness in the end product so that you'll actually be able to shuffle. Just keep sleeving in opposite directions. Uh, another technique you can use is to turn the card upside down and press it into the sleeve like that. Then for the very end, use your finger to get it in the sleeve. Again, in between layers, pressing the air out of the card. Next layer. For uh, for the character guard layer, I used to have the design, this gold design, on the back, uh, but I noticed there were some imperfections in the printing of this gold design, so I've since moved this design to the front, and I actually think it looks pretty nice. Again, let's push the air out of the card. Right. And finally, let's get this in a strong hard. And there we go. One quad sleeve card down, 74 to go. I get a lot of questions about how I shuffle the 60 card monstrosity. Here it is next to the height of a dragon shield box, just for comparison. The answer is I use gravity to help me. I split the deck in two, mash it, and use gravity to help bring it back together. Split the deck in two, mash it, and use gravity to bring it back together. I've also seen other techniques. For example, splitting the deck in half, just like an EDH deck, shuffling one half at a time, and then bringing the two halves together any way you see fit. And there you have it. That's how you quad sleeve and subsequently shuffle a quad sleeve deck. I hope you like this video and stick around for more regular content.